You want to track your dang habits in Notion? You want to be like big habit tracker person? You know, just perfectly tracking every little habit you could ever need. Well, then you're going to want to get my Supreme Second Brain, or you're going to want to watch this video, which can show you how to build it from scratch. So going into the series further about building my second brain, which you can definitely check out in the playlist that will be linked here. We're going to go into this areas database. So this areas database is going to be a little thing I like to call the habits tracker of destiny. No, that's not that serious. But yeah, I'm going to set this guy to be a habit tracker that hopefully will help your days and weeks go by a little bit better. So first and foremost, the whole point of this habit tracker is to make it more of a like one page item that then has all the different habits that you need. So obviously you can adjust this for whatever it is that you feel makes sense. So we open this, what we're gonna do is we're going to make a couple of date properties that you are probably familiar with if you followed along in the series. So obviously we have date here, but I'm gonna change this name to date override and I'm gonna make a formula called date. And then I'm gonna obviously do a created time. The whole principle here is essentially what we're gonna make is a formula that states if there isn't a date already within here, then we're gonna just default it to the created time. But if there is one in here, then it's gonna override it to make it a different date. So let's do if empty date override equals true, comma, which means then created time else, which is the comma again, date override. And then we finish this with a parentheses and we make sure we put a parentheses here, which I missed. Cool. And then I know you remember we had this connected to the journal. Let's just change the name to journal log because what we are going to do is add some check boxes. And one of them is if you are keeping track of your habits, hopefully journaling. So we can do like journal. And essentially what you're gonna do here is you're gonna make a bunch of different duplicates of checkbox. So we can pick like workout, let's do a little weight and maybe duplicate it again and do drink water and then water be an option here. And then me personally, I would meditate and then put a little brain action, and maybe duplicate this to read with another book. And then to make it a little cuter, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna put the date here, leave the date override at the end and I'm gonna hide all these until there's only the emojis. And then hide this, just leave all the different habits I'm trying to do, and then leave this over here. And then it's up to you, but I'm just gonna make a new template and I'm gonna mark this as at today and then habits. So then when it would connect to the journal log, it'd be easy to see. So like for example, when I press this, actually first you have to set this as a default. And then let me explain. Basically what I just did is I set a default template with an at today so when I press that, it's then going to capture that like this. And it's gonna just be easier when referencing any journal you would have to keep track of like what you'd actually relate it to. So then what we would do is we would set a filter to date is today. And then anytime this would make this, it would just leave what is today. And I would probably just put a little bit of a day name here. Then you could duplicate more of these views and set it to date is relative to today, this week, and then week, and maybe even a monthly one as well. You do like month filter to date is relative to today, this month. Cool. Then we can kind of keep track of what ones of these were checked off or not. And if you want to get a vibe of that, you can go look at like a monthly one and say I made a couple ones, for example. We can do percentage calculated, so percent like checked of all of these to see like, oh, what percentage check did we have for these different habits we're trying to build? So if I just scatter these around, boom, and see 20%, 40%, and you can obviously tweak these a little to see all of the percentage. You can see how absolutely good this example person is at, at their habits. Just perfectly awesome. And all these different days would be like the specific days. So for example, if, if this was set to, if I did the other day, set this to at May 12th. That's what would be showcasing. If I set this to the 11th, when we would by default be pressing the new habit, it would populate this and then the name would change based on the day changing. Now, if you wanted to have some fun with this, you could also use a button template. So this is a little like extra section. So if I do slash button here, I could add page two, select the database, 
would be this one, so the name of this, and then at today habits, and then I would call this button new habit day, and then I want to duplicate this and make another one. We could edit this and have it be check off habits. So what does this mean? We're gonna do a little check checkbox filled emoji here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna edit pages in, select database, this page. I gotta click on this guy, have a tracker, second brain, edit. And then we could pick these, and pick all the different check boxes. So journal, meditate, all that kind of stuff. Read, work out, check all these off. Now what I can do to filter this would be, I could filter this to, their date is today. So then if I set all these dates and sorted them to date descending and all these filters, and I made sure that this was filtered to date is today, could then, as you can see here, if I check this, it would only check off the different habits for today. So it's kind of cool. Uh, in integrating buttons into your system is something that I would definitely recommend. Uh, it's not necessarily something that many people are probably utilizing to their fullest extent and they do make workflows a little bit more fun. Let me know your thoughts on this habit tracker and let me know what your thoughts are on this video on how to improve your productivity even more.